So check this out guys, he just slides the seats forward, folds those flaps down, and then he's gonna drop the top bunk. After spending the last few days in the beautiful city of Chiang Mai, it is finally time for us to make the journey from the northern region of Thailand back south to the city of Bangkok. We're going to be traveling today using one of the most popular forms of transportation, the sleeper train. Now we actually booked the second class ticket, which is one of the most popular options, not only because it is extremely affordable, but also because it is one of the most comfortable ways to make this incredibly long journey. In this video, I'm going to be sharing the complete experience with you guys and showing you firsthand what you can expect when traveling by train in Thailand. What's up everybody? Welcome back to another beautiful day here in Thailand. Today is actually a sad day because we're leaving Chiang Mai. We've absolutely fell in love with this city and yeah, it's been special to us. It's been an amazing time. However, the travels must continue. Now today, I'm gonna to be sharing with you guys a train experience here in Thailand. I'm gonna be showing you guys exactly how to get from Chiang Mai to Bangkok on an express train. Now we're actually booking the second class train, which is one of the most popular tickets. And I wanted to share the complete experience with you guys. Now I'm actually gonna share exactly where we purchased the ticket, what the train is looking like, and of course, if the journey is worth making or should you just book a flight or take a bus as we've done both so far this trip and I'm just gonna be straight up with you guys both experiences have been amazing so right now we're about to check out of this beautiful hotel we've been staying in for around $15 a night super super cheap and make our way to the train station now there's actually a few different ways you can make your way to the train station you can take a tuk-tuk the local public transportation but the fastest way and the most convenient in my opinion is by booking a grab which is like an uber and it only costs around 90 baht so right now we're waiting for our grab to pull up we're gonna throw all of our luggage inside and start this incredible journey to Bangkok well change of plans guys the grab actually just got done canceling on us and there's none that are willing to accept the call I don't know why I think it's because it's rush hour it's 5 p.m. So luckily the hotel we're staying at has just arranged a tuk-tuk ride for us, which is perfect, a great way to share a different experience with you guys. Now he just told us the tuk-tuk's gonna charge us 150 baht instead of the 90, not that big of a difference, especially because now we're cutting it super close to the train. Wish us some serious luck, please. Thank you. Bye, thank you, thank you so much. Bye, cup and cup. Oh man, this adventure is gonna just beginning, guys. You know traffic jam. <laughs> oh, traffic jam, I know. Traffic jam and lane. I know. Lane no problem, traffic jam. Very <laughs> important. All right, guys, this is intense. Um, literally, first tip, we're just gonna go ahead and throw it out. Make sure you guys head to the train station. Plenty of time early and not during rush hour. It is raining pretty hard, but our tuk-tuk driver is taking all the shortcuts. We are gonna be giving him a good tip today, for sure. We made it! Woo! Thank you so much! Oh my god. We had the best tuk tuk driver! Wow, we made it, guys! Oh man. So the ride was 150. We're getting him three. You see, one hour. One hour? Oh man, thank you so much. Here you go, for you. Thank you. Thank you so, so much. Wow, what a lifesaver! Now we're not missing the train. Thank you, cup and cup! Oh man, let's get checked in and then we'll catch up once we make it to the train car. Alright guys, you don't know what a relief that is. Getting inside of the train car after that intense drive, amazing. But let me show you around my little seat. So this here is our seat. Now it doesn't look too comfortable right off the bat. It's a little rough, but this folds into a bed and is there outlets that's what we were hoping for yes there is there is outlets so we have outlets what is this a nice little lamp some sort of rack what is this up here oh that's the bed wow 
content. And we also have a nice little table with two cup holders and an incredible view. And let me just tell you, it feels like a cooler in here. It's so cold, it feels so nice. And the luggage fits absolutely perfect underneath. Now, there are also these overhead bins where you can place some bags during your trip. And while honestly, this looks super spacious, super nice, this is gonna be an enjoyable ride. And let me just tell you, our tickets were only $30 a piece for the second class seat. Bye Chiang Mai, it was good seeing you. I'm gonna miss this place. So they just came by and gave us these cute little water bottles, which is really, really nice. Now they did tell us that no snacks, no food, anything was sold on board. So luckily we did purchase a few things at 7-Eleven before the ride, but wow, I'm really hoping that dinner is included. We actually took the bus from Bangkok to Chiang Mai. And let me tell you, that experience was incredible. We stopped at a restaurant, had dinner. They gave us a snack box, water bottles, a pillow, a blanket, all that good stuff here. It doesn't look like we even got a pillow or a blanket so far. Maybe they'll come by and drop one off at our seats here in the next few hours. And I'm really hoping that happens because it is cold in here. Now we actually booked these tickets through a company called Tugia in Thailandia. And honestly, it made the whole process super, super simple. We didn't have to worry about anything at all. And we didn't have to come to the train station to book them. Now, there are many different websites where you can actually purchase the tickets. However, they all do charge a processing fee and a markup because that's how they make their living. So if you do want to save some money and get your tickets at a more affordable price, I highly recommend coming to the train station. And yeah, when it's not peak rush hours, it's only about a 15 minute drive from the city center and definitely worth Worth coming on out and booking your tickets in person however if you're very short on time i definitely recommend going through a tour agency because let's be real time is money and you're only in thailand realistically probably once in your life so super convenient to save the time save the hassle and get your tickets online So now that I told you guys a little bit about how to book the tickets, I think it's time to get some work done. I'm about to plug my laptop in, sit back, edit a couple of videos for you guys, and enjoy this incredible drive, or I guess you could say train ride, before it gets completely dark outside. It's around 6.15 now, and I have a feeling the sun will be setting within the next 45 minutes. So it's also a good time to just sit back and enjoy the countryside. Now, this train is actually um, far from a speed train, I was reading online that the top speed is going to be around 60 kilometers per hour So we're going to be going extremely slow, but I have a feeling it's going to be quite enjoyable Especially because I mean look at this guys. It doesn't get much better than this Seeing the countrysides, seeing how everything is just so green all the banana trees the rice fields This is incredible definitely an experience on its own here in a little bit I'll walk around the cabin and I'll show you guys around a little bit and Maybe we'll go check out the bathrooms because usually those can be quite rough on trains and buses. So we made it to our first stop. Now, this was just a quick one. Literally a few passengers got on and now we're continuing. I'm not going to check in with you guys on every stop, but I will let you guys know at the end approximately how many stops we made if I don't fall asleep. And yeah, I'll keep you guys posted. But for now, I do want to go over some of the snacks I bought. Check these out. I got some nacho cheese Doritos at 7-eleven earlier i got these strawberry covered yeah something these oreos these little rice cakes which are amazing you buy these on the street or at the local market and a kit kat these are incredible as well and yeah i'm actually traveling with gladys right now and she's addicted to the kit kats and she loves how there's so many different flavors of them here now i highly recommend bringing some food if you're coming on these trains because as i mentioned they don't sell anything and man it smells so good in here there's people eating like full-on meals like rice and chicken um yeah I just, i'm watching all everybody snack next to me makes me wish i would have brought a proper meal for the train journey but hey oreos kit kat you can't really go wrong and this view i think we made an okay decision guys so up here you got a like screen that's showing you the actual route and all the stops it looks like we're gonna be making like 15 stops and it also shows you the time and the temperature now what i like about this train is that everything is super modern whoa how cool is that right amazing and yeah this is where you're gonna find your sinks these are what the sinks look like so you got two um 
place, places to wash your hands, some soap. Let's try this out. Oh yeah, definitely approve. And there's paper towels. This is hard to find in Thailand. Paper towels and toilet paper. Actually, I'm curious. Let's see if there's some toilet paper inside here. Now it looks like there's some sheets and pillows. That's probably what's gonna be handed to us later on. And there's the bathroom for women and the bathroom for men. Pull to close, push to open. Here we go. Oh, nice. That looks pretty cool, huh? You got a urinal, a sink, paper towels. I like it. Definitely approved. This is the first bathroom in Thailand I've been in that has paper. Now that's the urinal. It looks like this here is to, yeah, do your other business. Wow, super clean. And there's toilet paper in there, guys. Nice, and of course the butt pistol. You can't go anywhere without a butt pistol. Wow, I'm shocked. This is, this is super nice. And a nice emergency button in, th in case things get real serious in here. Now, time to head back to our seats. But yeah, as you can tell, Everything is super clean, super nice. I'm enjoying it so far. So far, so good. Wow, that bathroom is clean. Hey, and there's toilet paper in the bathroom. That's a first. <laughs> yeah, and the butt pistol. So the time has come to completely get rid of the seats and now turn this into a bed. Now, there's actually two types of beds you can have. You can have the bottom row or the upper row. But Gladys actually did a lot of research on the train prior to hopping onto the train, unlike I did. And why exactly did you book the lower beds? Well, I did a research on Google and everybody said that the uh, lower uh, seat, it's... Um, more spacious when it turns on a bed and it also has the window which you don't have if you choose the upper bed and the space here it's um limited I, I mean you don't have like here free space but it's smaller than this one so make sure you guys to choose the upper seats lower seats. the lower seats sorry <laughs> <laughs> she's super funny but yeah make sure you choose the lower seats that's very good advice thank you so much because i let her completely take charge of booking these train tickets but yeah right now they are on the seats next to us i'll let you guys know exactly what the process is like once they make it to our row so check this out guys he just slides the seats forward folds those flaps down and then he's gonna drop the top bunk what that's so sick now over here he actually has the sheets and blankets but look it looks like the top bunk actually had all of the padding and curtains for the bottom bunk as well <laughs> super cool it's quite nice the setup they have in here actually i was not expecting that now the top bunk actually looks quite spacious as well so yeah look he got the sheets the pillows brings the mat down wow that's nice and you still have access to the cup holders when the bed's down sheets are going on nice clean linen wow look how fast he preps that bunk military time i'm truly impressed Wow, I'm about to jump in that thing so fast. <laughs> that looks super cozy. Wow. Now here comes the pillow. A small little pillowcase. Or is that a, yeah, that's a pillowcase. Oh, never mind. that's the pillow. What was in the plastic bag is the blanket. And the curtain and just like that we have our beautiful bed now wow this looks a lot more comfortable than what I had in mind he actually gave us a nice blanket a nice pillow oh yeah 
Oh man, this is better than the one I just had in my hotel. Come on, are you kidding me? And he added a cushion layer to the seat, which is really, really nice. So let's go ahead, open up the blanket. Oh, it's not bad, it's not bad. Feels like a towel, feels like a towel, but definitely all you need. I mean, you're in Thailand, the air conditioning is perfect. Smell test, pass the smell test. 8 out of 10, 8 out of 10, but look at this guys, so spacious, so nice. We got our curtains here, and we're just going to go ahead and close now. Oh. And this is going to be the perfect way to get to Bangkok. You get to sleep, relax, and let's be real, even catching the one hour flight isn't a one hour flight. You still got to get to the airport two, three hours before. You still got to find your way home once you make it to the airport. It's a hassle. This is nice as long as you're not rushing in a tuk-tuk. Now, the only downside is the table doesn't come up, but who cares? This is nice and cozy. I'm gonna go ahead and get some work done. I don't think he prepped the bed up top, so that means we should be good to go. We're gonna be sleeping alone tonight, and I'll see you guys bright and early in the morning. Now, Gladys told me that she read on reviews that the best part about going to sleep on the bottom row is catching the sunrise from this window. So I'm not really an early bird person, but let's see if we can wake up and catch a sunrise. See you guys tomorrow. Good morning, sunshines. What an incredible ride that was. I actually got a full night's sleep and I, I'm just so happy about that. I got literally a full nine hours and it was perfect. It was incredible. I have literally no complaints now. I actually just woke up completely scared because I heard a bunch of people talking in Spanish saying that we passed the stop. And I just asked one of the workers and no, nope, turns out we're good. We got about another hour to go. And yeah, I'm gonna get everything cleaned up and then I'll give you guys a nice summary once we make it to Bangkok. So we just made it to Bangkok. What an incredible journey that was. It took a little over 12 and a half hours, but I must say, I highly recommend the second class ticket. It was worth every bit of the $30. And the first class ticket is only about five US dollars more. So I'll definitely be booking a first class train before leaving Thailand to share that experience with you guys. Now, what can I say? Bring some food, bring some snacks. And other than that, you should be good to go, especially if you're taking a night train. Now, it took two and a half hours more than it said it would on paper, so please keep that in mind, especially if you're coming to Bangkok to catch a flight or to catch another train or another bus. It's good to know that it's not gonna get here right at the time that it says it's going to. We did make so many stops and it, go, and it did go extremely slow, but that's usually how trains and buses work anywhere in the world. And yeah, for now, I'm gonna be leaving you guys to enjoy the rest of our time here in Bangkok. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoy your travels here in Thailand. And please remember to subscribe, leave a comment, and like this video. It would really help me a lot. Thank you guys so much, and I'll see you soon. You